Hi, and welcome to our finale for the Dark Souls Learn to Play on Saving Throw. Today is going to be an interesting little montage in the very beginning. Our characters are a bit stronger than they were previously, with new gadgets, new gizmos, and I can't think of another G word that's clever enough to say with that. New gear. Oh my god, that is... Goodies. Wait, no. Goodies. <laughs> Not my goodies. No. Goodies. Um, <laughs> Thank you again to Saving Throw for giving us this opportunity to tell this weird, fantastical story. Uh, thank you to Steam Forge for providing us with the ability to showcase this game in a fun way. Just so you know, if you are in chat, we are doing a giveaway for the collector's edition of the book. Just pay attention to the chat. The rules will be inside of there, and then we will announce the winner before the end of the show. Um, I'm going to introduce this cast one more time just so you can remember the names that will be on their tombstones. Uh, I am Gabe Hicks. I am your dreadlord for the day. And we will be throwing them into absolute chaos and I am excited. So we're gonna go around the table one more time and we're gonna start with Drac. Hi, um, I'm Drac or Draconics. You see their pronouns. Uh, find me on Twitter at Draconics, D-R-A-K-O-N-I-Q-U-E-S. And I'm playing Everlasting Stitches, the cowardly, Pyromancer. <laughs> um, um, and I don't, honestly, I'm going to be real honest, even though we've leveled up, I don't think that's going to change. I think it's going to be <laughs> maybe even more cowardly. Um, Amazing. Because now he has cool things that he wants to keep and not mm. like die or lose. Um, so, yeah, that's who I'm playing Everlasting Stitches or Stitches for short. Um, Incredible. We're going to bring it down to, well, I like to call them a round of applause, and they've never heard me say that. So let's see if they can pick up on it. Yes, he's right there. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. It Everyone is, else knew. Everyone else knew. Delightful. Go ahead, Cassie. Hi. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> um, I, I bravo. Um, I'm playing Fable, the. Uh, Duelist uh, Herald, or Fencer Herald. Um, so beefy. A little sad, but so beefy. Got some good stuff. I'm ready to, I'm ready to fight. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to go over to 80% of Eric. Hello. Um, uh, I'm Eric, and I'm playing uh, Montgomery Boyd, who uh, is a, a, a level name? 10 cleric. Yeah, thank you. Uh, he, uh, yeah, he didn't gain, honestly, uh, I, I, I didn't min max. I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to keep this story stuff. So he's still wearing those priest robes that he got in session zero. <laughs> Wait, say I forgot You're to say that. Yeah, stitches I think, I think he, yeah, he's got like, instead of his, his mace, he's got a candlestick that actually hits harder than his mace. Uh, but yeah, yeah, he's, he's not the, he look, he's probably, he's not, a, he's gotten different. He's changed. He's, he's a lot darker. He's very gaunt. Um, he, he just doesn't seem he's he's died a lot, and every time he dies, he's less when he comes back. He's, he's less. <laughs> That's true. He has not had one good roll on that revival That's chart. So funny. <laughs> Dang. When what what is it? The priest robes do again? They they give you disadvantage on con saves. Yeah, but and uh, they give me fight. resistance to slashing damage. Delightful. Good to know. Hmm. Good to remember. And then, and then. Finally, we have our egghead. Go ahead, EJ. Hi, everyone. <laughs> My name is EJ. I'm that's one big egg in chat, and I'm several big eggs on Twitter. Um, and <laughs> tonight I am playing Zach, who, you know, still might be small in stature, but is very, very beefy now that he's leveled up a bit. You know, Zach is what happens when you remove the restrictions on the character slider. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Zach is unkillable. Just gonna put that out there, you know. I don't we'll know, see I don't what know if you should put it out there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah. So, good luck to whatever we're fighting tonight, because it's gonna need it. Because that can take a hit or two. <laughs> oh God! Oh Bet. God! <laughs> Bet you love to challenge this. <laughs> you love to challenge this. Oh, you know. Okay, you know what? There's gonna be a secret for today's fight. 
Yeah, I'm gonna see if you can figure it out. It'll be a very Dark Soulsy secret. Ooh, Ooh. Secret. Ooh. And you know what? Okay, cool, cool, cool. We Let's just it. get right into it. We find the party around a campfire, a bonfire. That's the one. A bonfire once more. And previously, they heard the sound of massive flapping wings. A familiar sound to them from early on in their adventure, but I don't know if anyone remembered. It shouldn't be the same creature because the one that you encountered had its head thrown to another bonfire you sat around, thanks to a giant you had met. Yes. So, all of you have gone back to that nasty little aqueduct and continuously grinded in true Dark Souls fashion until you had enough souls to get better equipment, to find new spells, to get better armor, to get a candlestick, and to level yourself up. So each of these four adventurers are now level 10. So we're going to go around the table again, but I'd like you to describe your newly equipped, newly enhanced, new and improved character that we are seeing. And we're going to go opposite order. So we're going to start with Zach first. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> I'm really excited about the stuff I got. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> uh, so when I got my new equipment, I got a I got a cool new axe. It's very big, uh, but I am very very strong. I've been dry scooping that protein powder, so um, <laughs> I, got, I got I got the 18th strength to carry it. So I have a Black Knight great axe, um, so I can I can do my little war cries, and I also got some nice matching black iron armor that. Um, no biggie. Like I, I am vulnerable to cold, but I am currently immune to fire. So, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Those are my new stuff. <laughs> immune to fire, huh? Good to know. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna bring up any new immunities. <laughs> no, 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 please, please. Yeah, please. me neither. <laughs> please, because this is a learn to play. I've already decided what's going to try to kill you, so that's okay, not going to okay. change. But that's interesting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then we're going to bring it around to Monty. Yeah, Monty has the cleric's candlestick now, which Love is just uh, literally a candlestick that he can bludgeon people with. Uh, it's better than his mace, and it wow. and it I can I can light it and have light. Uh, but what's great about that is that I have a new spell, sunblade, uh, sunlight blade, which adds a d6 lightning damage to my attacks, so I can. Yeah. I have a, a lightning candlestick that I smack people with. <laughs> Horrifying. Um, and I got I got a bunch of like new abilities which are nice. I can bless people, which is good. Um, you know, I I have advantage against uh, demons, and uh, yeah, I I heal a lot better. I've got a group AOE heal that takes me two turns to do, and uh, yeah. I can put up a shield that gives me resistance to all magical damage. Ooh. That's fun. Making some cool. moves. Making some moves. Ah, that's so <laughs> uh, We're going to bring it over to Fable. Okay. Fable um, got an upgraded, kind of traded the pike out for uh, the Erethial Raper, Rapier, and it is two position after a successful attack to reduce enemies AC by two, which was the same as the pike, but mm. a lot more. Um, the chime spend four position, or Yorsha's chime, okay, and uh, that one is kind of like a boost. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I did, I was able to get a chime, just in case Monkey goes down and I need to start doing some healing. <laughs> um, I got two new spells, um, and um, some, you know, cool armor. Uh, that I could maybe re-roll one failed check uh, of my choice. Just like could maybe if I wanted to. If you felt like it. If I felt like <laughs> it, I got a cute little small shield. I kind of traded the kite shield for a tiny shield. And uh, and mm -hmm. uh, spend one position to gain resistance to fire damage for one round. Um, should, should that be a problem? Um, but 
but yeah, and then, uh, you know, just kind of a a beef about her. She's got a beef about her. Mm. She's all sad now. I feel like that's like emotional armor. Oh, that's right, because her emotions are messed up. Right. Yeah. She died. She died good and hard. It it was very poetic because because you're like coming in very happy go lucky. You're like I'm lucky. Immediately Huzzah! you're sad about everything. Yeah, <laughs> I was like I've Just... never played a happy character like this. And then <laughs> there's no happiness in the Dark Souls world. No, yeah. no. <laughs> I mean it's only fitting, I suppose. Mm. So yeah. And then our new stitches. Yeah, so um, he's still in his pyromancer um, robes. Um, the only the main thing that's changed about him is that he has now um, Lothric's holy sword, which he has strapped to his back. It's uh, basically a sword that he can use to, I think, spend three positions to blind the target for one turn, um, mm. so they can run away easier. Of course, um, he has a new wooden shield, um, where uh, once per short rest he can use spend one position to run away without opportunity attack. Oh um, <laughs> you really kept to the brand. Yeah. <laughs> um, I Love took the you. Hornet's Ring as well, which when I roll a critical hit, um, instead of doubling the damage, I triple the damage. So that whenever mm. he does yeah. hit, it's worth it. <laughs> um, um, and I think that's... Oh, also the Longbow. Uh, I took a Longbow, which lets me, if I spend three position, um, I can lower the target's AC by three as well and a bunch of spells let's hope the boss arena is big enough for you to, to <laughs> just, move around. i just picture like a tiny little hehe <laughs> oh <laughs> i'm gonna make another note for myself god damn it this thing is running away let him run away <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm going to make it easier for you lot. He's built for speed. Oh. He's uh, built for speed. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um. So, now that we have this new and improved team, is there anything any of you would like to do before you progress forward to see what it is that lies ahead and wait for you? I look for any messages on the ground. Ooh, smart. Roll a d20 and just tell me what you roll. Okay. It's a gold one. Seven. Getting a gold one. Oh. Seven? The yeah. messages are all the same color. That's a summoning sign. But I like where your head's at, EJ. Oh. Hmm. You said seven? Yeah. Follow the pattern. Follow the pattern. Mm -hmm. uh, uh oh, is this going to be some kind of intelligence based? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think my armor. You tell me he's got combos. <laughs> uh, what do you mean oh, by that? No. You gotta wait for. Uh, the, can I look the for right summoning signs? Yes. Oh gosh. Uh, roll, roll a d twenty. Just, just a d twenty straight. As, as a resident. Whoa. Lucky number okay. seven today. Um, you see, I think it's a purple summoning sign. Ooh. That can't be good. <laughs> I don't trust that. Uh, that do. Hey, I'm as you as you all know, I'm definitely not the expert when it comes to summoning signs. So you, you probably shouldn't trust anything I say. Um, I mean, of all of us, you're the one who's done all the summoning, so. And I think I was wrong, like, at least 50% of the time. Yeah, it's purple. Um, Do I remember what the... Purple is probably good, right? <laughs> nothing, nothing in this world is good. <laughs> you all have seen red, and you've seen gold. Purple, huh? And red was bad, and gold is good. So there's a 50% chance that this one's also good. Maybe I don't know maybe if that's how it's... the maths works. There, Zach is um, horrible but... <laughs> at statistics. It's not about <laughs> math, my friend. It's about color theory. It's about vibes. It's about so if we mix the two and put them together, they make purple. Hmm? 
So are you going to touch it? Is it good? <sighs> and Fable just goes and touches it. I'm going to throw you back away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I wonder if we're by a bonfire right now. You are. I, wonder, <laughs> I wonder if we're by a bonfire right Gotta now. Gotta find a stat block real quick. <laughs> For an, a friendly NPC. Purple. Friend is, or foe. <laughs> yeah. Or what what, what, what do you all do otherwise? Do, 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 do. Are we I'm by a bonfire right now? I'm putting my shield out. Yeah, he's like a merchant. He's like a yeah, cool yeah. merchant guy. Bonfire is like 30 feet from you, I'd say. I'm oh, putting that's... my shield out. But That's you can't one use bonfire turn of running. Combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you can't use bonfire in combat. Oh! Interesting. I mean, in the game, video game you can, but this ain't the video game. Interesting. <laughs> what a fun thing. So, but I'm we're going to learn. Oh, there's the stat. Ew. Uh, a purple summon sign calls upon the berserk spirits of the mound makers. Oh. These warriors hmm? attack anything and everything, seeking to inflict as much damage as they can. They hmm. remain for the duration of one battle or one hour. During that time, they attack any creature within 10 feet of them, immediately switching targets should a new creature move within 10 feet. So, <gasps> everyone, we should run, we we should run into the We're going to roll in this boss. We got to kite it into the boss. We're going to roll in this right away. Oh, let's try it. Why not try? <laughs> I'm, I'm Guys, down to Guys, do not die, forget honestly. about your position die. Yes, okay. your yes, position die. You. And you might, like, this is a moment where you can roll it physically. You might do better off with a digital dice roller. I was just because say... you're rolling 10 of your position yeah. die. And we are? Levels. Yeah. Level oh, 10. So, oh, is this the one where we add the level to it? Uh, no. No, that no. is adding no. up your base position. That is okay, base. good. Okay. I did that. I did that. I'm proud of you. Yay. Learn to play. You're really doing. You're Learn doing it. Play. I'm learning. All oh, right, man, I got 22 easy. on my initiative. Okay, Ooh. you are going fast. I've got 17. Fast. 17. Fast. Uh, nine. Slow. Yeah, this is the DC be was 10. Nice roll. Hmm. <laughs> So first will so be Stitches, Zach, or Fable. Together. I'm adding Stitches. my position. Hold on, somebody else go. You see what looks to be an ethereal ghostly knight with a sunken face and a white blue glow all across their body, staring at you and a soft moan mixed with a howl comes out. As its mouth goes even wider, a gape, it looks like the jaw is not even connected. I'm gonna stab you first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you summoned the sign so it doesn't seem like I'm just being rude. You go first, bravo. Me? Yep. Okay. Um. Ah, oh, can I see? It's just this feller, huh? We don't see no big boss yet, huh? No, you all did not go very far. It's okay. It's a little warm up. Um. Yeah, you know what? I will just stab him. Really good. Stabbing. Oh, we get a lot oh. of position. <gasps> Natural twenty. Yay! Yeah, oh yeah. That is a critical hit. Oh yeah. And remind me, are we rolling twice or just adding our roll? That's up to you. I'll let you decide before you do it. Ooh, 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 huzzah! No, I can't say that anymore. What would you like <laughs> yeah, to do? Would sad. you like to roll twice or would you like to double your base roll? Um, I'll just double my base roll. Beautiful. Yeah, I'll just mm -hmm. do that. Doubling base roll. Hiya! Oh my god, that's a 10. <laughs> so that's funny. <laughs> God. Plus your damage modifier. <laughs> audio settings right now. <laughs> Plus your damage modifier for a total of. Oh shit! <laughs> Can you remind me what my damage mod is? Your strength mod, your probably. Strength. Your strength mod. Okay, thank you. Okay, yes. that's a plus one. All right, so, so twenty-one. Okay. All right, and what are you attacking with? Uh, the uh, rapier. So as um, this figure appears, yeah. your rapier goes right through its ethereal form through the armor and you do feel physical purchase you do feel it 
twist and turn as you stab through it and see it stumble back for a moment. I'd also u- love to use the, uh, I'll spend two position to reduce its AC by two for my next attack. Beautiful. All right, is there anything else would you like to do in your turn? That is it. Uh, all right, sack or stitches. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll, I'll run up to him. Or I imagine I was already there with Fable, but um, I'm going to take out my nice big axe. Yep. And I'm gonna I'm gonna slash at him. And I do it. Does a thirteen hit? Please, it's not. not bad. It does not. Yeah, I can't imagine it would. Okay, I am not going to hit it then. Oh no! That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Wait, do you have extra attack? Uh, I don't. Oh, I never okay. had extra attack. <laughs> I'm, I'm a de- I'm a deprived guy. I don't have a lot going for me. Right now. Guy, you're a deprived guy. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Stitches. What are you thinking? Um, Stitches. Yeah, no, he'll help. Fine. Um, I think he's gonna he's gonna cast um from where he is. Uh, I'm just gonna go to the biggest spot I have right now. Fire Tempest. Um, okay. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. so I think he kind of like raises uh raises hands up honestly he praises the sun and then as he does yes. <laughs> as he does uh, i believe three pillars of just f- columns of flames just drop down from the sky amazing and it has to make a dexterity saving throw or yeah. 10 take 10 d6 fire damage there's a 15 that 10 fails d6. So it's going to take 10d6 fire damage. Um, That's a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, I'm reading right. Okay, I need to, I need the dice roller for this. Uh, 31 points of fire damage. And All right. the pillars, so I think, it's, I think you said three pillars. Yeah, three pillars. So the three pillars are, I'm going to put them like, one right behind him, and then the other two on the left and right side of him, um, to kind of like keep him in place if I can. Uh, if Beautiful. he passes through it, uh, no, one of them right on top of him, and then the others are like around him. Um, and if he passes through, he has to make another deck save. Okay. Uh, so then it is his turn. After these pillars of flame come down, you do see it stumble even more. And its form switches from a blue to a crimson red. And a large scythe appears in its hands as it goes, as it reaches outwards and grabs from thin air to hold this large scythe. And the scythe itself then starts to glow with the same crimson glow. You can surmise this creature is in fact now bloodied. Ooh. I did I did all the work I can do. I'm gonna leave it the rest up to you. Okay, bye. Um, I'm gonna back up with <laughs> This guy. So now that the creature is bloodied, it makes things a little bit more interesting. Uh Bravo, you yes. are directly in front of it. Yes. Uh so it raises the scythe up and tries to bring down a swing at you. That is a 23 to hit. Oh, yeah. So as this scythe comes through and hits you square in the chest, uh, they slice across your chest in a downward angle, making you suffer 25 points of slashing damage. All right. And 12 points of cold damage for a total of 37. Oof, hefty hit. And Ouch. Then, Zach, you're you nearby as well, right? Yes. They going they're gonna use their second attack to try to strike at you instead. Mm, interesting. That is a 19 to hit. I'm gonna use my multi-attack defense. Uh, once per turn you can choose your react to use your reaction to gain an additional plus four AC against an attack. So I will do that. And nice so I will done. have a I will uh, take my big armor and guard just kind of myself. like like parry and deflect it. <laughs> yeah, incredible. <laughs> All right, so that will be its turn, and then that brings us to Monty. Uh, Monty goes over to uh, Fable and heals them. Oh, oh, 
four. Let's see how much is that. This is some good. What a rolls. selfless chosen one. Uh, twenty nine plus eight, thirty seven. Thirty seven. Thank you. That's a lot. Yeah, it's a great heal. I'm back up to where I was. You literally like <laughs> negated all the damage. <laughs> this is not Fable. Really Fable lesson. gives you a very like somber hug. Like you'd expect <laughs> it to be very nice and pleasant, but it's just like I. Wish I was there. Monty, Monty has, <laughs> Monty has almost no reaction to it. That. This is like, like this is like, you know, like fixing a machine for him. It's like, all right, there you go. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's not. He's not even like phased by this. It's, like, oh, it's not heroism for him. It's just like, just yeah, is. there you go. All right. So then that brings us back to the top of the round. I'll, I'll go. Yeah. Does he go finish this? Um, has, did he move away from the pillar? Is he still in the pillar? Yes. He immediately takes 46 damage then. Um, All right. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, 18 points of fire damage. All right. Um, and it scorches him once more. And then I'm going to spend T position to extend... The other two pillars disappear, and I use two positions to extend a pillar that's right on him for another round, another turn um, round. Yeah, very cool. And that is the end of my turn. All right, Zach and Fable. I'm gonna try to hit him with my axe. Do it. How it's gonna work? God. <laughs> What's a two plus eight? That's ten. Is that ten? Does that hit? Does no. ten hit? Okay. <laughs> You, you swing uh, and he like si he like sidesteps you very easily. I'm not used to this armor yet. I'm a lot slower. It's a lot heavier than I'm, than what I had. I you're literally like because you're so goopy. You're probably like stepping out of your armor or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not I used to that. wearing clothes. <laughs> goopy. All right, we're gonna go to Fable. I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be goopy. I'll stab it again. Make that roll. You can do it. Huzzah. Thanks. <laughs> uh, a nine. Nope. Sidesteps you as well. Oh man. Darn. I thought after my hey, ten that nine would totally. I know. Break. I know. I'm right at the back, and I'm. I'm not really meant to judge. But are you gonna? Are you gonna do anything? Or is anything? See, gonna, stick anything my tongue out. Fable, Fable just slowly, scary, like just turns. You just see like the lifeless, sad mask, just like. I see, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Um. I didn't. Sorry. In your own time, you know, there's no... In your, sorry. <laughs> so they do then try to move out of the pillars. And you said a dex 30 save? Yeah. So that is a dirty 20 for that. Ooh. That saves. Okay. So I think uh, they do they take no damage as they're moving out of it, or is it half? Um, oh, no, it just says moving through it. Um, it's 46. There's, no, there's not even a save. Oh, so moving through it or staying in it is 46. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Nice. That's a good uh, spell, oh. man. Oh, can you believe spell. it? So that's another 16 points of fire damage. All right. So they come around and they're essentially just moving around the side to Zach. Uh, they are focusing on you, Zach, at this point. Why would they do that? You were the one that came <laughs> in. I've been so nice to them. Mechanically. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm someone kidding, else I'm kidding. Well, you know what? Fine. I'm going to lie. I'm going to lie. They it's because you're weird and they hate your face. <laughs> yeah, I have a crush on you. I know you know when they, a boy like hits you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, no, yeah you yeah, don't yeah. say that. That's a stupid ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's really bad. <laughs> let, me, let me see. Let me see. I'm rolling in I want to see if they have a crush on me. No. <laughs> they think you're disgusting. That's a twenty-two. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that hits. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait! I use my multi-attack defense, and then it doesn't oh, hit what? anymore. <laughs> Is that last for the entire turn, or is that just the attack? It says once per turn, you may choose to use your reaction to gain an additional plus four. So I think. Oh well, then yeah, that it seems like that would fit. Cool, All right. yeah. <laughs> How <laughs> fun! All right. Yeah, mercenary is probably like really good. Jeez. So the, what does that make your AC? Twenty-eight. 
22. 23. Oh, baby. All right. Wait, 22? Mm-hmm. Didn't I say 22 last time? Yeah. Was it a 22? Yeah. Then you me. hit me both times. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then the first strike with the scythe comes down. That is 27 points of damage total. Ooh. All right. And you are no longer wearing the armor that gives you resistance to slashing, correct? I am no longer wearing that armor. All right. And you are not resistant to cold, correct? Hmm. No, as a matter of fact, I am vulnerable to cold. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so then you take an oh. extra. <laughs> EJ. <Wow. laughs> Don't it's worry, the sanctuary guys. debacle I all over take again. Take an extra ten points of damage. Okay. Not too bad. And then the second strike comes down. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. So you take. Fine. 33 points of slashing damage. All right. And since you're... Oh, and 26 points of cold damage because you're vulnerable. <laughs> All <I'm> right. So <laughs> <laughs> I have just one question. When I, Actually, never mind. I don't have a question. <laughs> no, please. This is a learn to play. Okay. When I... <laughs> When we entered in it, when we entered initiative and we added the extra position, was I supposed to add any kind of like con mod to that, or was I just mm -mm. rolling 10d10? Okay, rolling just 10 making 10. sure. Well, is, yeah, is rolling 10 of your position die? Cool, okay, cool. Thank you. Where are you doing? Where are you at right now? I'm actually really good. Oh. I uh, I'm I just hit my base position essentially. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. I dealt a lot of damage to you. Yeah. I have a lot of health. Cool. All right. Then I do not feel bad about what comes next. Uh, it is Monty's turn. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll heal. <laughs> because, you know, I want Damn Zach it. to not die. Eric. So, Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, Thank D8. You. His luck has to run out Ooh. eventually. Plus eight. So that's 29 damage or 29 Ooh. position healed. <laughs> damage. So just, 29 just punches damage. that kind of like, I will be the one All to right. end you. I'm killing you. <laughs> Fine. I'll do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh. Thank you, Monty. What's interesting? No, I was looking at the share the class. Have... No. Share it with the class. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at resistances that the creature had. Oh, that I wasn't taking I into consideration. So I sure. resistances? No. Yeah. So I took them into consideration for its health. Because sometimes you gotta remember that there are little extra things your characters and creatures can do. And it helps you out. All right, that is top of the round for you three. Since Eric is being kind. I hate it. <laughs> I can't be that kind, that very kind much longer. I can only do one of those big heels one more time. Oh, <laughs> All right. Well, I'll, I'll, we'll I'll take him down that. this time. Go Don't worry it. about it. I'm going to hit him with my axe. What's a two plus eight? I wonder what oh it Oh my God. Be. <laughs> 11. <laughs> yeah. No, it's 10. I, I don't it's hit 10. him. It's a 10. I, did, yeah. I don't hit him. <laughs> At this point, he doesn't move and you just miss. Yeah, I picked my image. And it's kind of like. Oh, I'm trying really hard, man. Try harder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweltering. Um, oh my God. Um, seeing that, <laughs> Stitch is like, I guess I'll do myself. Um, and he's going <laughs> to He's gonna rush over and. From his fist, very similar to what he's seen before when he um, uses combustion, but this time it's a black flame because it's actually called black flame. Um, and he's gonna come and just punch this thing in the face and um, does a 23 hit. Yes, it does. <gasps> okay, so Yay. it takes. 8d6 fire damage. Um, this is how you make yourself a target. <laughs> um, and it does 32 points. Oh, wait, sorry. 
29 points of fire damage. All right. Um, and its AC is permanently lowered by, not permanent, I think just for one turn. It's lowered by two. Um, lowered by two? Yeah. All right. Good to know. Uh, and yeah, that's the. Can I do anything yet? Um, oh, I have my wooden shield. <laughs> so once we're short rest, I'm going to use it. I spend one position to move 10 feet without provoking opportunity attack. And I'm running away. <laughs> so you move 10 feet? Yeah. Cool. That's the end of my turn. All right. And then it is last but not least, Fable. Okay. I am. Yeah, fuck it. Okay, I've, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it. <laughs> I better. I'm gonna hit it, and if I hit, then I'm gonna holy smite it. So good. Huh? Okay, fourteen. Its AC is lowered by two. Its AC is lowered by two. For the next turn, yeah. That does not hit. No. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> okay, Fable pouts. I made it easy. Okay. Um, <laughs> We're really so trying over here. Four. I know. I know. <laughs> the creature, uh, go ahead and make an attack of opportunity, Zach and Fable. I'm gonna hit it. And me. Nope. Oh, that's nope. true. You fucking cute. Monty's me. there oh. too. Uh, a 13 doesn't hit because no, a 14 does not. didn't hit. Uh, oh, wait, but not. wait, I can spend position to, to make it hit, right? You can. How much would I have to spend? I'm not telling you that. Does a 16 oh, hit? Oh, okay. Um, okay, so that's 13. I'm going to spend five position to make it an 18. 18? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so the 18 will hit as you make your strike. Monty, it uses a reaction to parry and add two to its AC. Okay. So that attack would miss. Okay. Okay. But mine hey, hits, hey. right? Let's let's it talk does. about this. I, I know and I burned you and like the, let's talk. I am no, okay. Um, um I hit it for eleven damage. <laughs> All right. So you hit it in the back as it like stumbles towards Stitches. And I'm going to yell at it. Yes! Wait, can you... Isn't that <laughs> a bonus action? Spend four position after a successful attack to unleash a war cloud. It just comes with the, the axe. It just says spend four position after a successful attack. Hey, you know what? I'll give it to you. Yes, that's a wisdom save. All right. 19. <sighs> yeah. You got it. So, Jane. You got it. Okay, I spent my position. Hold on, let me subtract that. And so it moves towards you, Stitches, and it raises the scythe high above its head, uh, and then okay. brings it down. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, no. So that's a nat 20. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, oh, no. It's um, not the chosen ever. one. You know what, Jack? I'll let you pick. Do you want me to double my dice, or do you want me to double the result? I think, statistically speaking, it would be better for me if you doubled the dice. Cool. But oh. Stitches oh. is an awful person, so he deserves the worst. So I think just... Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. there's a chance that he's just going to roll low. That's possible. <laughs> <laughs> is yeah, <it>? yeah. <laughs> so is Alara. Why is this spirit? Is the all purple spirit? It's just like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Someone's trying to steal that spirit. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. uh, so doubling the result. Yeah. That is. I have 117. So, like, if it's less than, if it's more than that's that, that's 88. Down. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. And that is the okay. first hit. 
cool, 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 can do it. Well, he'll probably only be I doing about half do. of what he did last time. Yeah. <laughs> you can take another 40 points of damage, right? Yeah, you'll be fine. That uh, is 36 points of damage on the second strike. I had 29 left. Oh! Oh! <laughs> so it's one swing, and as you start to dodge back, it pauses for a second, and just as you stand up, it does that second swing. It is that a really uh, annoying thing uh, in video games where, like, the animation made you pause, and then it, the, the AI was waiting for it. Yeah. Uh, and Stitches fades. Stitches this is the last time I help out ever again. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Mark. Uh, I mean, I guess if Stitches is dead, I'll just, I'll just run over and smack this thing. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Right how well this does. Uh, does yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, a 22 to hit. Yep. And then uh, an incredible amount of damage here. Uh, seven bludgeoning Ooh. damage. Okay. You bring I'm, the candlestick down. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, yeah, I was literally hitting him with a candlestick. <laughs> you bring the candlestick down after this thing slices through stitches, and it falls to one knee, and then the other, and fades. The one. Amazing! The chosen one! <laughs> he is the chosen one. Good job, Monty, you got it! I hate it. So <laughs> just struck my so the stitches. Just, just so does, every time, every time Stitches does the most damage, he dies. <laughs> Just for it, that's look, you are pulling <laughs> aggro so fast. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> just for the purpose of time, we're going to have you all rest. Stitches, go ahead and make a wisdom save. I feel like you are significantly better at it this time. Yeah. Uh, are you? Did you roll wisdom? Three. Okay. <gasps> okay. Not enough. What do you mean that's not enough? So now we're roll a d20 20. for me. Yeah. See how bad this is going to be. Oh, yeah, let's see. I feel like I remember this number and it wasn't good. 18. Uh, it's high. Be absent, really you'll become cold, callous, unmoved by human suffering. Reduce your wisdom score by one. Ah. Not much has changed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not much Stitches, has changed. Stitches just comes back. He's like, I knew it. I flipping <laughs> I knew it. Knew. <laughs> this, is a, this is the last time I'm helping any of you out. I am keeping as far away from anything as possible. Oh, you got God. all the souls again, didn't you? You, got, you all got the souls again. Okay. You can have okay. some of mine. No, no. I don't want your charity, Zach, okay? You seem <laughs> upset, my friend. I am. I am. <laughs> so I'm going to throw you all into combat immediately. Because Yay! I want you to have to deal with this thing. You all rest. <laughs> you are all back to full. But you make your way past where you had killed the giant. And as you get closer and closer, you see what looked to be large imprints in the ground. It looks like a massive beast. And you okay. see an entrance to a castle courtyard. Ooh. And this courtyard is massive. Think three or four football fields massive. Ooh. It's a lot of running. And you... Are we talking American football? Or... 200 <laughs> feet from one end to the other. Canadian. Okay. I, which is not Canadian. bigger than a whole bunch of football fields. But you know what? <laughs> Y'all. It's enough. Um, it's enough space. You walk into... I'm going to kill you all so fast. <laughs> there are no punches pulled anymore. This is, the, this is the finale. So you walk in and you see a headless draconic figure. Me? Sorry. In the corner <laughs> on the ground. And this thing is gargantuan. Genuinely enormous. Ooh. And then, in true Dark Souls fashion, a name appears. Oh. And a fog blocks your exit. Oh. Mm. And this is a variant of the creature. But you see it stand up. No head, but in where its neck is. A flame. Right there. And you see the name. The Headless Black Dragon Calamite. 
So go ahead and roll initiative for me. Remember your position. By enormous, you mean like, like you know, like a normal kill size, right? No, it's literally gargantuan, like actually that size. Mm, mm, gargantuan, I see. That I see. Human. That is the oh. biggest size category in Dungeons and Dragons. Indeed. And Ooh. Ooh, I'm rolling good. This is, this is very fitting. Um, I rolled a one. All right, that's slow. So Stitch is like, oh, I was that I'm not doing Oops. anything. What did you go first? Uh, I rolled a 12 for my initiative. That is slow. And it's about 60 feet from you. Uh, I rolled a 20. That is fast. I'm also slow. I rolled 10. All right, that is slow. So everyone is slow except for Fable. Fable, this creature is 60 feet from you. And as it looks at all of you, you see bubbling appear at its neck as the head reforms and flesh is growing outwards, folding over one another. You see flames scorch the skin as it hardened once more and all becomes as it was when you first saw this creature. And it is 60 feet from you. Okay. I'm gonna get 20 feet closer. Mm -hmm. Um, And I'm gonna use the Grave Lord Sword Dance. Okay. Um, so each creature within a 40 foot sphere centered on a point which you choose. I'll just choose. You moved. Yeah, okay. Him. Um, must make a dex saving throw. Um... So, uh, let me get the counter ready. That's... He's gargantuan. He can't move that fast. He's not that dexterous, I bet. EG, are you projecting? No. <laughs> Why would you think that? Hmm. Okay. Um, go ahead. Uh, what, what, what was the... Uh, what, uh, uh, what'd you roll? 20. Fuck. Okay. Oh. You do pass, but so you're gonna take half of the damage that I'm gonna roll. Mm -hmm. uh, so give me one sec. I gotta roll it all. So thirty-one. That's what's half of thirty-one. Uh, we'll call it 15. sixteen. I'll round 16? up. Okay, so that's sixteen okay. piercing damage, and then on top of that, um, what's half of thirty-nine? Nineteen. Yeah. 19, and then that's 19 bludgeoning damage. 16 and 19? Yes. Got it. Um, I'm so sorry. That takes two actions. It just hit me. I just yeah, saw you that. have to start casting it now, and then on start your Start casting turn. it now, and then it'll happen next action. So if you want, you can hold on to that damage. Yeah, yeah, I'll hold on to it. wait for it, it to hit next. So I'll as start. long as you don't die, it counts. Okay, <laughs> good. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, then yes, that's my turn. All I'm right. Start getting that ready to go. The dragon flies up and speeds toward you, and it does like one of those diving lands where it slides forward. And as it slides forward, its massive maw opens and it prepares to take a chunk out of you. I'm ready. That is a natural one, so it goes wide, oh. and completely misses. Hey, God, that was scary. Uh, which oh, was... that was an immediate natural twenty. Yeah, I heard. I heard the natural, and I was like, "No." Very bad. <laughs> so its second strike is then a strike with its claw. Uh, that is a thirty-two. Me. Thirty-two to hit. Yeah, that hurts. Okay. Yeah, that so meets uh -oh. that meets Fables AC. That meets. <laughs> so you take fifteen uh -oh. points of slashing damage. Okay. And a second Maybe claw. Maybe I should have cut those prayer robes on. That's a 19 to hit. Uh, that hits, yes. All right. I gave you something very valuable. So it's up to y'all if you chose to wear it. 14 points of slashing damage. I realized it was too valuable later on, but then none of you realized that because of the con save. And I lived in I'm still opinion. wearing it. I know it, chosen boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are the chosen one. And... I need everyone to make a DC 19 wisdom saving throw. Okay. Wisdom. Okay. Fuck. Oh, wait. My wisdom just went down. <laughs> yes, it did. Fuck. Oh, well. Oh, I, about that. I actually made that. 30 20. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
only rolled a 16. All right. So, I rolled a net 20. Okay, so Ooh. Zach and Stitches, you two are not frightened. Oh, oh. no. Martin? Zach got a nat 20, so yes. he frightens the dragon, right? I'm oh. going to kill you so fast. <laughs> I'm just wondering. It's a learn to play. <laughs> You're correct. No, that is not in the rules. <laughs> I'm sorry okay, to disappoint you. I'll write that down. But I will tell you what is in the rules on my next turn. Because I'm sure Zach's going to get closer. I'm waiting for That's it. That's the plan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? Let's make it Zach's turn next. What would Zach Ooh. like to do? I'm going to run at Bef- it with my axe. Before you go, Zach. As fast Zach, as I can. Oh, yes. Uh, I, I'm going to uh, cast uh, Cinder Lord's Touch, which will uh, essentially just bless. I can bless three creatures. I'm going to bless the three of you. So you get a D6 you can add to uh, attack rolls and saving throws. Yes, gamer. And the creature is only 20 feet it. away. 25 feet. I feel very blessed. I'm running at him with my axe <laughs> out. Mm-hmm. Okay. That is a 24 to hit. That hits. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's going to be nine damage. Okay. Um, I lied. That is going to be nine plus two. Nine plus four damage. So 13 damage. All right. I forgot to add that last time. And then I am going to spend four of my position, and I'm going to yell at him very loud. All right. Can you make me a wisdom saving throw, please? That is a 15. It's stunned. (laughs) Um, Sorry. It's stunned for the next turn. So whatever's right after me, I believe, it's just stunned for the next turn. Yep. Okay. Yes, That's I yell perfect, at him so loud. Then. That's yeah, stitches. It's I mean, done for it's you. Not, it's not that great because it's a dragon. It's probably resistant to fire or I mean. Um so <gasps> I'm going to back up 30 feet um mm-hmm. and pull out my um longbow and fire at it. Alright, roll with advantage. Uh Nat 20. Oh, yes! Yes! Um, And because of my Hornet Ring, I get to triple the damage. Oh, yes! Um, It's not much, because it's still just a crossbow, but I mean, a longbow, but it's still... That's a um, bonus! uh, Okay, so... uh, D8, so... That is... 23 points... Oh, no, sorry. 25 points of piercing damage. Amazing. And then I'm going to spend three um, position to reduce the target's AC by three. All right. Um, I don't and know if that's for how long. It doesn't say. It just says it reduces it. So I don't know. And that was which item? The longbow. The longbow. Got it. Yeah. I'll take care of that. Um, yeah, that's the, that's the end of my turn. All right. Question. Uh, I don't know if this takes an action or a bonus action or anything, but I'm going to use strength in numbers. Uh, whenever you outnumber your target during melee combat, you can spend one position to add three to your AC. All right. That works. Yes. Oh, I always have a question. So some of mm-hmm. the spells have like a cast time of an action and yes. some are instantaneous. Yes. What's the difference? Um... One action means it's it's like you're spending your entire it's like like a full round, so much. Uh, okay. Say. Um, and instantaneous. Is is it so it does use your action, but it happens in that moment. So it's okay. it's one one action is like a, a casting time. Okay, so one action the next turn it's actually casted. Yes. Okay. Cool. 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 Um, okay, that's good to know. Yes, just like how uh, uh Bravo's character is currently. Mm-hmm. Okay. And yeah, then, yeah, that's it. I have an idea now. Yep. All right. And then I think it's Monty's turn. I, I blessed everybody. Oh, that's or, right. Gross. Well, Cinder Lord touched everybody. So I think that was, that is uh, everyone. It, it is, that is, yeah, that is an action. So. I will also say, when I wrote a nat 20, because of the advantage, it would have been a nat 1. I wrote a 1 and a 20. Uh, so Ooh. that stun helped me a lot. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. So then it is one more time Fable's turn. Okay. Um, now I'd like for the... Yep. Uh... So that damage goes through. Yay! And that brings us again to the top of the round. <laughs> Let's see. Who did the most? Mm, it's a little <laughs> That's terrifying. The two. I mean, uh, so the first strike is... Stitches is... Stitch is being very, well, no. Stitch and Monty right now are basically the same person. Uh, they don't want to get close to anything, which is fine. Hey, that's fine. That's fine. So I'm, it takes the first strike. Go ahead. Hey, the coward way is a good way to, I mean, I was going to say it's a good way to live, but I think I've died probably the most. So never mind. Uh, ignore me. Uh, so that is a 29 on Zach to hit. Let me check and see if you read anything that could stop it. Absolutely. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to do mental math in my head. Um, damn it. No, I can't. Okay, yeah, no, it, it does hit me. 29 is a little ambitious to try to stop. <laughs> so you take 29 points of damage. Ooh. And that is okay. uh, nine points of that are acid damage. Piercing and acid. Are you <gasps> resistant to either of those? No, I thought right. I was, but it's poison. Yep, yes. So it's 19, it right? Uh, 29. 29, okay. 29 total, yes. Nine of it was just the uh, acid. All right. And then what it takes a second have? attack on Zach with a claw hmm. for a 26. Uh, I'm going to use my multi-attack defense and get my uh, plus four so it does not hit. Wait. All right. Beautiful. Yes. So third strike at Zach. That oh. is a 28. That does hit. I can only <laughs> use that against one attack. So That is for 13 points of slashing damage. This would be great if it only had one attack instead of three. <laughs> <laughs> and... All right. And actually, uh, da, 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 da. uh, Monty and Fable, make a wisdom saving throw. Ooh. Shit. Ooh. Bad. Ten. Two. Two? Okay, so neither of you lose your frightened state of this creature. Guys, there's no need to be afraid. So See now it is? it is Zach, Stitches, and Monty's turn once more. That is the dragon's turn. I am... Um backing up another 30 feet um, if I can I don't know how big this uh it you will provoke an attack of opportunity I will well, oh no 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 you're because so you, you didn't close you put out your longbow and you were yeah. like 20 feet back yeah so you're fine okay um yes yeah, so I back up another 30 feet there's not much um, further to go back beyond that though fuck. okay you all um, walked in and then combat started yeah um and then I'm he's gonna God damn it it kind of sees behind him that like there's nowhere else to go. And I'm trying to go around. If you really want to walk <laughs> around, but... I'm going to beat myself up a bit before I do that. Um, I'm going to use power within. Um, mm -hmm. And you can just you kind of see him just like, probably like bounce on his feet, almost like he's hyping himself up yeah. like a boxer. And then you just see that his body temperature like, just increases exponentially. And um, I'm going to pick, I'm going to send cool. five position to boost my damage output by plus 1d10 um and that lasts for five rounds all right so at any point any damage Ooh, i do nice. i get to add 1d10 to it um that's so cool. and yeah that's the end of my turn all right that's so cool monty will just so am i able to walk forward because i'm afraid is that part of it no, you can't approach the creature. Okay. Then then I will stay where I'm at, but I'm going to cast Magic Barrier on myself. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. I want to whack it. Right. <laughs> I want to whack, whack, whack it. And, and, attack. I, and I will try and... Uh, let's see if I can save to not be afraid. Uh, 16? Probably not enough. That will fail. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are you, oh no, you don't get the d6, do you? Nope. Okay. I got a 26 to hit. That will hit. Yes. That's only 
uh, nine damage. All right, um, so nine more damage. And sh should I keep spending position? I seem to be the only one getting hit. Ah, I'll spend it. What's four position? Uh, can you please make a wisdom saving throw? It's a nat 20. Oh, well, that saves. <laughs> so I'll, just, I'll just subtract this four. Don't worry about it. That's the end of my turn. Not at all. Um, so then that brings it to the top of the round to Fable once more. This is the third round of combat, just so you know. Okay, let's see. That's relevant for later. Oh, oh God. I have anything ranged. Well, it's it's 10 feet from, no, it's it's, uh, oh. it's right up next to you. It's right in front of you. Oh, perfect. Yeah, trying to I'm bite your head off. You'll just have disadvantage right. on attacks against it. Gotta stab frightened. the shit out of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try. You said disadvantage, right? Yes, I did. Ah. But you had a d6 you to you this. You can do it. Oh, okay, disadvantage plus a d6. I don't even know if that's gonna work. You could save the d6 for your saving throw for frightened. I think it's it sustains, late. right? Yeah, it, it's a. Oh, it's it sustains? A... Oh. That's too Is that one time use? No, it's it's you. It, you're blessed. You roll every time you saving throw. Yeah, it's not it's a like one time thing. Regular bless. Oh. Eight. That's cool. Eleven. How blessed works. <laughs> no. <sighs> no. <laughs> so, Bummer. <laughs> is that your turn? Yep. Uh, go ahead and make that wisdom save. Oh yes, yes, yes. That's a natural one. No. You're a little bit more frightened <laughs> than you were before. I'm so scared. So on the third round of combat, I need... Stitches, you just moved back, right? Yes. Great. I need everyone to make a DC 22 dexterity saving throw for me. Oh. Okay. okay. As oh. a creature, its belly starts to glow with a wicked green glow, and it rises up and then goes down. Do you see 22? Yes, I, I even do I got that. 23. I have to roll in that 20 to get that. I got 14. Uh, <laughs> Wait, but we can add our D6s, right? Yes. Can. Oh, yes. Oh, thank God. Okay. That, don't, that don't, didn't make no Actually, difference. <laughs> my dexterity is pretty good, but it doesn't help a natural two. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh. Um, Me and Monty are really feeling it right I got now. 22. Yeah. I got 22 exactly thanks to oh. Bless. Thank goodness for Bless. I got 23, but I didn't do the Bless, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so, Zach and Stitches passed, correct? Yep. Yes. Okay. So, Zach and Stitches, you take 37 points of acid damage. Acid? Cool. Monty oh, you should and Bravo. Bio? Excuse me, Monty yeah, and I Fable. See. You take 74 points of acid I, damage. I'm. It, is it magical? Because I have resistance to that. Uh, no, it is not. Okay, 74? Okay, yes. That's not very fun. How much damage do you say it was again? It's not right. poison. It's definitely acid. So, uh, 37 for you. 37. Okay. Oh, I'm not feeling too good. Um, and then it takes one bite attack at you, Zach. All right. Say 21. No. You uh, because I'm using, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going to use my multi-attack defense. All right. Lovely. So then that is the end Hang of its on. turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm like engaging lovely. a lot more of my brain than I usually do during combat. <laughs> uh, I, need, I need, well, I need Zach and Stitches to make a wisdom saving throw for me. Cool, 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 cool. Um, 22. Uh, that passes. 16? You are now frightened of the creature, Zach. Oh. I'll do, I'll... I have a quick question. Oh, wait, wait. I didn't have the D6. I didn't have the D6. The D6 will save me as well, because I wrote a 16. Uh, that's a dirty 20. That passes. Yes! <laughs> Blessed Monty! Thank you, Monty. Thank you. Monty. Blessed Monty. Put a Monty Pog in the chat. <laughs> um, 
I have a quick question. Okay. Okay, so I have the Karmic Justice. I should have casted that first, and then, because the it looks like, uh, blah, 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 after you cast the spell, if you suffer more than half your total position and damage, a wave of magical force erupts from you. So I would have had to have that buff on and then take all that damage, not it be like a reaction to taking the damage. Correct? What? So, <laughs> <laughs> so in Karmic Justice... It says, after you cast the spell, if you suffer more than half of your total position and damage, then, like, it goes into effect. So I would have had to cast it first on myself as, like, precautionary and then taking the damage, not as, like, a reactionary, like, I took the damage and then I cast it. Correct. I don't think in this circumstance. Huh? It, it, I don't think in this circumstance. We can, we can treat it as a buff that you had cast in preparation for that moment happening that oh, okay. would then go off after you had taken 74 points of acid damage. Okay. Because that is more than half. I'd love to do that yeah. now if we have the time <laughs> to roll some damage for that. <laughs> oh, wait, that wasn't the thing that you, that wasn't the previous thing. Nope. That's something that I would love to okay. happen Okay, one more time then, explain. Okay, okay. <laughs> After you cast the spell, if you suffer more than half of your total position and damage, a wave of magical force erupts from you. All enemy creatures within 20 feet of you suffer 8d8 force damage and must succeed on a dex saving throw or be knocked prone. You mm -hmm. attacked on your turn? Mm -hmm. So you would have had to cast that instead of attacking on your turn. Right. So preemptive. Right. Got yes. you. Yes. Yes, that is that, and it's it, it is that way essentially for fighting bosses, right? Uh, assuming yeah. that you're so going cast to cast that first thing when I come in. Good yep. to know. Yeah, it's no, okay. I'm not gonna let you do me like Next that. Next time. <laughs> what? I just put an attack. Learn to play. 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 You don't get to say that, EJ. You're a monster. <laughs> EJ is min maxing. <laughs> I'm so proud. I'm trying hard today. I need to. I'm proud of you. Baby. Genuinely, that that's not I'm facetious. Learning. <laughs> I'm learning. So then it is, yes, it is uh, you three's turn. Uh, Stitches, Zach, uh, and Monty. Stitches um, is kiting this thing. Um, he's going to try to, like, now that he's, like, has his back to it, he's going to try and just, like, go around the side as far as he kind of keep in the same distance, but it's going around the side. Um, they beat this thing on the first round, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to, again, put my crossbow, I mean, my uh, longbow and fire. Go ahead. Um, is, the, is the bless on attack rolls as a roll, right? Or is it just saves? Looking I cannot at remember the wording. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Um, I rolled an at 20 it's a, again. Yeah, it's attack um, rolls and saves. <laughs> attack rolls and saves. Good to know. Okay. Um, I rolled an at 20 again. Um, <laughs> Stitch is luck today. It's not lucky because now it's going to target me. Um, and because of the Hornet Ring, I triple the damage. And because of power within, does that mean it triples a plus D10? The power within. The power yes. within. Okay. The power within. The power within. <laughs> the power within. The power within. <laughs> um, that what is, is that? The power That's from SpongeBob. That's, the power okay. within. 34 points of piercing damage. All right. Um, <laughs> and I think the longbow is still the roller skates walk, with right? all the chickens. The power within. So, you know, you remember when I spend three position after successful attack um, to reduce the AC by three? Is that just like once? You're going to do it once that's, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's that's and that's that's it's meant to be uh per for like for the like the next the next turn. Okay, so I'm gonna yeah, then I'll spend I'll spend three again to bump his um AC down by three again. Beautiful. Um and yeah, that is oh wait, it's a bonus action right to take an SS flask. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Yes. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> yes, thank you. You can do drink that. It. Has like the SS flask amount it increased has three by like things in it, right? Uh, okay. three. Yeah. Yes, it does have three normally, but at this level, I think you would have increased to five. Cool. Let's say four. That's four. hot. Break the okay. break the difference. I will double Sounds check. Good. And it's that. just your start you your position die, right? I think it's a d six. But I don't know how if it's one d six. It yeah, it's it's a position die. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a, position a bonus die. action. Oh, it's a position up, die. Right? Yes. All this time being rolling in d six because the this guy. The sheet I had was Come a on, stitches! <laughs> oh yeah, the sheet I had was a jack of all trades too. Came in the yeah. D6. 
No, that's okay. You can roll d6 instead if you would like. No, no, no. No, thank you. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. We had the plus d6 to the Esther Spice, right? No. <laughs> Darn it, Monty. <laughs> uh, and then who would go next? Uh, I'll fucking hit it. All right. Uh, disadvantage. No, you don't because you're not frightened. Thank you, Monty. Oh, well. Oh, I forget I have a plus eight. That feels good. Dirty 20. Um, That will hit thanks to the minus three uh, for the next turn that Stitches did. Oh, you gamer. All right. Five plus four, nine damage. Nine damage. And okay. I will not spend my position this time. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take a sippy sip of my Estus flask. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me that I can do that. You're welcome. And I'm going to heal for one point of <laughs> one no. position. What? I rolled a one. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I have no halfling luck today, even though I am a little guy. You're just a little guy. What a monster. <laughs> All right, and then I think it would be Monty's turn. Yeah, I'm going to drink myself an Estes flask. All right, not bad. Four. Uh, and then Monty's going to start casting something. Oh. It is not finished yet. Oh. <laughs> Things said before fear. I hate that. Well, then next, it would be Fable's turn at the top of the round. Yay, I'm going to hit it so good. Please, uh, and Monty, bye. go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. As you are trying to break your fright instinct. No, I'm still terrified. All right, that's fair. That's I... Okay, Gary needs a new pair of shoes. Fuck! <laughs> Is that... What'd you get? I got four. How's nope. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see if I'm frightened anymore. DC 19. Don't be frightened. Don't be frightened. Don't be frightened. Oh, 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 16 plus 5. That's what, 21? Yes, it is. Eee! You are no longer frightened by this I'm creature. No frightened. Uh, You're so brave. I'd also use a lovely. <laughs> You're so brave. You're so brave. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to uh, 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 drink my Estes flask. <laughs> what was that? I want to drink. I want to drink. Why do you say it's so weird? Because <laughs> I'm in so much pain. This is how our characters always talk. This is how we got scared of the dragon. Did you say uwu? <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm going to be a target anyway, so I might as well put a target on my back. Okay. No, that's fair. Wasn't thinking about it, but you know what? The dragon does fly up. So go ahead and make an attack of opportunity. Zach uh, and uh, ba -ba 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 Fable. Big money, big money. Little old me. Hey. 16, does that hit? It does not. Yeah. Uh, 7 plus 5 oh, plus oh, 3 money. is 15. That will not hit. Does a turd, dirty 20 hit? It is does it not. I'm going to spend 3 position <laughs> to make <laughs> that hit. Does that hit 23? Yes, it does. Good to know. All right, that's 11 plus 4. 15 points of damage. 11 plus 4. 15 points of damage. talk through my math. <laughs> but you know what? You did it. I'm proud of you. Yay. I, right. I, every time I say I'm not going to help, and then I help, and then this happens. <laughs> run! Run funny faster! You you disappear from the group and then solo I'm yourself away from everyone else. So this creature flies over directly towards you, Stitches. It flies up high into the air and then dive bombs down, trying to take a large bite out of you. That is a 23 to hit. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. That hits. You take 29 points of damage as it bites down and it catches a little bit of your arm as you roll away. A nice number. Right? It then goes for a claw attack for a 24. No. Yeah. 34. Um, oh, yeah. And you take 14 points of damage from that first claw. Second claw, it rolls a 19 to hit. Uh, 
19. Yes. Uh, yeah, that hits. All right. So you end up taking 16 more points of slashing damage. Okay. I'm not looking so hot. Um, <laughs> very close to bloodied. And the creature is about 40 feet from the lot of you as Stitches went back and then moved around. Cool. And I got a foot it over there. Well, and before then, you do, yeah, uh, it is your turn. Monty finishes casting uh, Soothing Sunlight, which unfortunately Stitches is too far away from. But oh everyone, no! Uh, but but <laughs> all of us heal for twenty four damage. Wow, that'd be Ooh. real nice. That'd be real nice. Right now. Putting that in my calculator. You heard it here, folks. Spend time food. closer to your friends. That was the moral of the story all along. That's what Monty was trying to teach us this whole time. <laughs> Thank you, This, is the, this is the moral of this anime story where we follow Monty. Oh my Monty god, this is the like... arc resolution. <laughs> oh. While we're getting fucking demolished by a dragon <laughs> currently. Heartwarming moment while we get bitten and slashed. <laughs> You've all actually done relatively well against this creature. Good to um, a little upsetting. Yeah, cool. Um, so what so what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to go around it. So I stay within melee range. Mm -hmm. um, I want to get right behind it. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm watch going to, butt. yeah, I mean, I play Dark Souls. I know what it's about. I'll watch out for the tail swipe, but I'm going to go for the butt. <laughs> I pull up yeah. um, Lost Week's Holy Sword. Yeah. And I'm going to, I'm going to stab this thing right in the, right in the butt. Yeah, Ooh. get in the butt. Yeah. A melee attack? From stitches. <laughs> Whoa. Gross. Um, does a. I think I'm right now. Wait, it's the hit. God damn it. Hold on to the calculator. Um, so does a 23 hit? Yes, it does. Oh, okay. Um, and power within is still going. So it's 1d. Eight plus one d ten. Nice. Twenty points of piercing damage. Amazing. Um, Let's make a deep strike. And I'm going to spend three position um, to blind it for one turn, and then I'm going to use one position my wooden sword my wooden shield to move 10 feet backwards without um <laughs> inciting off the into attack this guy um Do you just blind it or doesn't it need to make a save or anything it just blinds it there's no save it's that's... blinded for one turn that's awesome um Ooh, that's badass and... dude how much how much <laughs> movement would i have spent going around it from the front to the back about 30. Okay, it's, so it's humongous yeah um yeah. Okay, I have a question because I'm not entirely sure how this works. Um, mm -hmm. I have the pyromancer flame, and it says spend one position to um, deal an, an additional one d four fire damage to a melee attack. Is that any melee attack or a melee attack with my pyromancer flame? You can do any melee attack. Okay, I'm gonna. I might as well. I, was, I might as well see what, how much damage this fire does to it. Yeah. Um, four points of four extra points of fire damage on top. All of right. That. Beautiful. Um. Yeah. And that's the end of my end of my turn. Oh no, SS flask. I'm definitely using another SS yeah, flask. Guys, big brain, big brain. Yeah, yeah take, I'm, take a big old fat sip of one of those. I'm hurt. SS right flask. Now. They come back when we bonfire, right? Yes, they do. Okay. Good question. Who fills oh, those no. up? The souls of your it's enemies. Whoever takes your wisdom when you die. <laughs> puts voices in your head. <laughs> those guys. Those guys. So we have. Uh, Monty has gone, Stitches has gone, and it is still Zach's turn, correct? Oh, yeah. I haven't hit him yet, have I? Nope, and you're 40 feet away. Oh, I, that was the problem, wasn't it? Well, I'm going <laughs> to run there. I'm going to so run 30 feet. Dashed. And let me see. That's 30 feet. There's, yes. Wow, there's, I have, 
I have no range. Maybe I like, should have gotten a crossbow or something. Oh, yeah, no. I'll, I'll do a. Someone throw oh. Zach. Throw me. Possible um, special. Let's go. <laughs> you ran thirty feet and then said, "Throw me to someone ten feet from you." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll double. I'll do the up. I'll do. Yo. You also I'll have action, <laughs> action surge, right? I do, I do. I was saving it for a yeah, a double rainy attacks. Day. Yeah, mm, saving um, it for a rainy day. Yeah, all action blinded. surge. I'll dash there. All mm -hmm. action surge, so Go I ahead. can still hit it. What yep. does the blinded do for me? Does that do anything for me? No, because it's it blind sight. Fuck. Uh oh. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Um. But it was a good idea. I yeah. rolled a dirty twenty. That doesn't hit, does it? It does not. I'm did you gonna add a spend D6? Oh, I didn't know, Monty. You have a big brain. Oh my God, Eric is carrying. <laughs> I us hate right how now. useful he's been. Right? <laughs> the That's a 25 to hit. That hits. He's like, I'm going to support you to succeed. Don't forget to roll your bonus for saving throws. Damn it. Don't forget to roll your saving throw for attack. Dang it. Okay, you know, I'm going to heal you for what you got hurt for. Dang it. All right, I'm going to heal everyone for the majority of the damage you took, Eric. Well, I only healed everyone because I couldn't take any steps closer, and my heals are touch range. <laughs> the bane oh. of my existence. That is 16 damage. I am going to spend four position and yell okay. if it can make a wisdom saving throw, please. Okay, four position and minus. That is a 16. Stunned for the next turn. <laughs> I'm going to use a legendary resistance for when Aww. it fails a saving throw to succeed instead. Aww. <laughs> That's hey, a good willing move. Down saving throw, though. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I wanted to do something. Oh, I wanted to take a little sippy sip of my Estus flask. <laughs> okay, that's more this time. Thank you. All right. So then that brings us back to Fable. Fable, the creature is 40 feet from you, along with two of your companions. I'm going to cast my karmic justice on myself. So okay. I don't forget. So that is active. Um, but that is my action. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do damage eventually. <laughs> take your time. Just gotta take your time. Whew. Yeah, take your time. I guess. Uh, and I, I'll move closer. I'll move. I'll move closer. I'll like move into melee range with it and just stand there. <laughs> Are you? Can you move forty feet? Oh no! Uh, I'll move my thirty, so Got I'll it. be within within ten of it. Lovely. Got it. I was counting what round it was. Uh, Zach and mm. Stitches, go ahead and make a attack of opportunity as it Ooh. moves back. By the way, everyone. Oh, God damn it. Everyone is doing SS class. I just read up the rules and it makes it SS class way more worth using. <laughs> um, oh, really? Um, each draw of SS class restores position dice equal to half your level. Round it up. So oh. not just one. Yeah. Five. Wait, wait, sorry. Five, so five? Five hit yeah. die. Yeah. Five, Can I do um, that for the one that I took last? <laughs> Absolutely. Because, <laughs> like, okay, there's you. no way at level 10 we'll I was going to see if you were going to look it up. <laughs> this is the finale. <laughs> I wanted yeah, to see what you remembered. Because I was like, why is it not useful anymore? This is, yeah. I, what, what they haven't <laughs> realized yet is this is your test. <gasps> Am I passing? Am I passing so far? You are now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I got so much more anxious now. <laughs> because this, and that is that is the challenge and boon of the Dark Souls RPG. You get bonus position at the beginning of initiatives. The Estus Flask becomes greater as you level up, which is why these dangerous attacks and these dangerous moments are that much more valuable when you can use them. There you go. Or when you can use something against them. So yes, the SS flag is a biz boon. I was wondering if you were going to remember. And the thing was, I was going to tell you when we got about halfway to a bloodied state. But <laughs> I'm glad you remembered. It's, it's hey. I, I asked you all if you wanted this to be a challenge. And you said yes. Yeah. Part of the challenge is remembering. Oh, that's the hardest. That's so stupid. It's not I a want to live. Stitches wants to live. So, you know, I had to. Stitches. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, she's like, I can't die. There, there's something wrong with my SS flask. I, I think I broke it. I can't so believe all that in this far, though. I really 27 can't. to hit. <laughs> that hits. Okay, that is 6 plus 4, 10 damage, and I'm going to yell at it. All right. So that's oh, a wisdom save. Also, um, at level 10, we actually have five drops of SS flask. Good Not to four. know. Good to know. Yep, so let's do more. And Jack, what page is that on? Um, that is on page Open that up. 183. Thank you. 183 of the book that there's a cool giveaway going on for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, EJ. <laughs> Don't forget to enter the giveaway. There's a cool giveaway going on over there. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if I should, uh, you know, point this here. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, yeah. Can you make a wisdom saving throw, please? That is nineteen. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, darn it. Sorry. <laughs> and then don't forget to make your attack of opportunity stitches. Oh yeah. The... If you want to. Oh, I absolutely want to. Um, I'm gonna roll. The blessing, cool, cool, cool. So that's a twenty-five to hit. That hits. Um, thing. I oh, it's blinded. It doesn't it has blind sight, so blinded doesn't fucking do anything. Um, oh. this creature doesn't have very many attacks. It just has a very powerful presence abilities to save against things and a, like a relatively decent damage threshold uh 16 points of um slashing damage and uh four points of fire if that means anything amazing uh as you hit this creature you see that its form starts to glow and shift and its face splits open oh. to reveal multiple rows of teeth and green viscera starts oh. slopping out. Oh, it is bloodied. Oh, oh, and when the black dragon calamite is bloodied, it immediately makes an acid breath attack. And Stitches, I'm so glad you came to this side. So I need everyone to make a DC 22 <laughs> dexterity saving throw. What's the range on this? Uh, it's a 90 foot line yeah. and it's 10 feet wide. Mm. Good lord. What's the DC on this? 22. I'm doing some acid tonight, boys. Oh. oh, I think I actually make that with a D6. I, 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 I do. I do. That's 23. Oh, I God I don't even have to spend position to make that. <laughs> 19 on a die plus three. Uh, me, what do you say was? Here, that? 22, this. yes. Okay. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm also like 50 feet away from it, so that probably helps 24. me a lot. <laughs> you probably were like... So oh, everyone 26. saves. Yeah. Uh, so then you all take 35 points of acid damage instead. Thank you, 35. Is acid considered I, uh, magical? Thank you, 35. It is not magical. <laughs> I am sorry to say. Uh, and then it takes its turn. It is going to make a bite against Zach first. Bite them back, Zach. Hmm. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate it as a critical. When he gets close to me, I give him a little Oh, kiss. critical. I that's... run away. I get hit. I wait, you didn't. That's not. Wait, hit. that's not a critical hit, is it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, that's cool. Sorry. You know. Again, I'm going to ask you, Zach. Do you want double the dice, or do you want me to double the number? I think it's more fun to double the dice. All right. Gladly. Let me see my hit points or my position. Okay, so. Hmm. Position. Position. Okay. So then you take 46 points of damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From like biting <laughs> down and mm -hmm. shaking you a bit and throwing you back down to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. 
And then it takes <laughs> a claw attack against Stitches uh, for a 26. Yeah, that hits. You take 18 points of slashing damage. Okay. And then it takes a second claw attack against Stitches. Oh, Stitches. 29 for 22 mm. points of slashing damage. Last time. I swear this time is the last time I helped any of you. <laughs> and I need <laughs> everyone to make a DC 19 wisdom save once more. I'm still what? frightened. I have not, not been frightened, so I'll just oh, not do it. <laughs> I swear. I think Stitches is just angry. I wrote a nat 20. I think Stitches like, fucking hates all uh, of you. Is this, wait, was this Dex or Wisdom? Wisdom. You said oh, I'm what? Bloody, by the way. Uh, 19 wisdom. Fuck, I rolled an 18. <laughs> did you use your d6? Yeah, and you can I did. You can spend position to up that. Can I spend position to up that, please? I don't think oh. spend position to save and throws. I think it's not what that was. <laughs> and it's not with save and throws unless you have something that grants the ability to it. You can do God it damn that. it. I don't care. Uh, it's what you get for that horrible <laughs> This is Dark Souls. You all are tainting this world. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm playing pretty it? true to it, to be honest. Then uh, we're playing different Dark Souls games. <laughs> when you say we're tarnishing it, <laughs> you say we're tarnishing it? <laughs> I'm so mad at you, Cassie. I'm, really I'm never going to forgive you. <laughs> uh, I'm lucky they're paying me to be here. Gabe, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you like to I'm, play this game with us, right? I'm in pain. You don't pay me to lie. Who's next? <laughs> I'm gonna go next go because ahead. I am bloodied. So that's cool. Um, so my AC goes up by two. All right. Um, I'm also going to pat myself again, and you just see um, instead of like the his body heat just going up, you just see I think his eyes like he just starts breathing out like Ooh. occasional puffs of flame. And I'm gonna bump my AC by spending five, uh, five positions. So I'm gonna bump my AC by another five. Amazing. Um, Ooh, that's good. That's instantaneous. And then I am going to. It's in. It was in melee range of me. Yes. Um. Uh, I'm just going to drink from my flask. I think that's what I can really do anyway. Ugh. And I send him my turn. Yeah. All right. Sacramonte. Go ahead and roll now, your. Oh, you know you did you passed your uh, saving throw, didn't you, Stitches? Yes. Yeah, I rolled that twenty. Stitches is angry right now. <laughs> That's right. So Sacramonte. Now it flew away, but it's not farther than thirty feet, right? It it just went back ten feet. It just, okay, just back ten feet. Cool. Then yeah, I'm gonna run at it. I'm gonna hit it. Okay, I might not hit it. Uh, that's a, oh, but I add the d6. Clutch. Okay, that's a twenty-two. Does that hit? That does hit. Oh yes. Uh, where's the? What? Okay, I can't tell my dice apart now. I'm getting too excited. Oh, well, that's a one, not for the damage. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> one plus four, so that's five damage. There you go. Uh, and then I'm gonna sip my Estus flask, and that's gonna be my whole turn. All right, beautiful. Oh, uh, well, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll spend the position. I'll spend the position to yell at him. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to make the decision. <laughs> That's a okay. wisdom save. That's a 14. Uh, I'm going to spend a legendary resistance to pass. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, that's my whole turn. <laughs> Monty's gonna drink an Estus flask. Yeah! Uh, he's gonna cast sun sunlight blade on his candlestick in the hopes that maybe he won't be frightened. Uh, uh, wisdom save. Yep. Uh, I it's only a nineteen. Nineteen meets. Nineteen beats. Beats, beats. Ooh, I'm not afraid oh. anymore. He's not. Afraid. You hear that? I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not afraid anymore. Please come and do this thing. I'm, I'm hurting. <laughs> I'm gonna kill all of you. <laughs> that brings us to Fable's turn once more. Okay, you can do it, Fable. 
I am gonna do it. <laughs> I want to hit it so bad. Okay. <laughs> I want to hit it really, really bad. Okay. I'm gonna hit it. And I'm gonna hit it. And if I hit, I'm gonna use my holy smite. Okay. 21. Uh, that will not hit. But you can spend position. Just, I can't just spend one position. position! Just spend one position. Yeah, can I do that? Spend one position? Go ahead. Yay! I hit it, guys! Okay, I'm gonna now have to use one of these on top of rolling. Uh, 4d8. Let me just get that done first. Four. Four. D8. Okay, so that's gonna be a three plus twenty-eight. So that's thirty-one. Thirty-one. So three piercing damage and then twenty-eight radiant damage. Ooh. Um right. for a total of thirty-one. Wait, that's good math, right? I did the math right on that. Yes. And that was with that was with what? Uh my uh rapier. Rapier. And then I cast so a holy smite with it. As well. So as you stab through its neck, as it reaches down, you stab through its neck and this holy energy starts to find a greater glow as its mouth opens wide and the glow starts to shine out. It's waving its head around and it's waving its head up. And then it stops moving. Oh my God. And its head falls down and hits the ground. Oh. But you notice something. Oh, God. Damn it. Phase. I'm phase two. There's someone standing on top of its snout with their blade through its face. What? An undead figure with black armor and a black crown. Also known as Lorian, the elder prince. Oh my god! His brother, <laughs> the brother of Lothric. Oh. Lorian was his el was That's his okay. brother's guardian always ready to draw his sword against anyone who might pose a threat to Lothric. Such is the bond between family. So this is your second stage of this boss fight. I'm so Sitters, excited. Sitters He's looks down at Lothric's holy sword in his hand and an up at Lorian goes, hey, it's not, it's not what it looks like. Oh. Hey, man. Um, Lorian oh, pulls the get you. great sword out of the dragon. And does look directly at you, Stitches. Uh-oh. Hey, hey, he, we're good friends. Uh, he let me borrow it. Um, <laughs> I let him borrow he my- He just gave um, it to me. He's, using my, he's, he's playing my Switch right now. We kind of need a trade. Um, <laughs> <laughs> God, that was such a mistake to say. Um, <laughs> hey, I picked it very much on purpose. Um, I didn't think this would happen, but I think it worked. You traded it. Yeah, we traded. We traded. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, I God, went to high school. It was, it was good. Uh, he raises his hand and then sweeps outwards. Uh, and I'm going to spend position because mm. I need stitches, Zach, and Fable to make dexterity saving throws. Okay. DC 17. I'm not scared of the dragon 17. anymore, I, am I? I can do 17. No. Because dragon's dead. Uh, okay. Ah, that's a natural one. Uh, anything to help me here? No. Uh, okay, yeah, I got a nineteen. Poker. I got. I also got a nineteen. All right. So stitches and Zach, you take twenty six points of fire damage. Oh, I don't. I take <laughs> seven points because I'm wearing I'm resistant any. to fire, and I'm wearing pyromancer clo um rose which takes away another five to a minimum of one so i don't take that so we say 26 so, so the game would then be reduced to 13 and then minus five yeah and zach's just a little guy but immune, immune. to fire <laughs> really yeah, yeah the actually, armor yeah the immune to fire vulnerable to ice <laughs> yeah <laughs> i kind of like high risk high reward kind of thing yeah. i love it well so then fable you take 54 uh excuse me not 54 uh, you take 53 points of fire damage. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay. Thank oh, you. thank God it wasn't 54. And really bad. Lorian moves towards Stitches. Hey, hey. And makes I an attack you. with okay. his greatsword. Fuck. 
I'm so excited we're fighting this guy. <laughs> hey, me and your brother were good friends, okay? We Just went to my date to prom. This is Lord. Look at him! Oh, oh. I'm so down bad for this man. I love him so much. <laughs> God. That is a so 24 much. to hit stitches. Wait, let me calculate this. <laughs> See if you can add enough AC. <laughs> so I already because I wait. Uh damn it. Yeah, it hits. So you take 31 points of slashing damage. Second strike. Don't bother. If it hits, I'm down. <laughs> you got those prayer rows? Take 30. Yeah, that hits. I'm I'm down. Um, Thirty-two points of slashing damage. Oh fuck! Oh, shooty wooty. Uh, so then, third strike is going to be against Zach. Okay. Okay. So, do you want double damage or double dice? <laughs> Oh my god. Well, if I'm being honest, I really want neither, but if I have to choose, <laughs> I'll do both if you if you dice. Double dice? Okay, double yeah. Dice. All right. It is 48 points of slashing damage. All right. All and right. Fourth and final strike. That is a 22 to hit. On me? Yeah. I'm going to use my multi-attack defense and boost my AC. All right. Ooh, this is a little scary. <laughs> now it is Zach's turn and Monty's turn. And I will tell you now, this is not necessarily a fight that you have to win, but you have to deal enough damage or last a certain amount of time. Got it. Got it. Okay. I'm not afraid anymore. So I'm, I'm gonna not afraid. I'm gonna move forward, and as I'm moving, I'm going to heal. Uh, I'm gonna heal Fable for uh, for forty damage. Thank you. And then <laughs> Thank I'm gonna. You 40. Then then I'll move up to uh, right next to Zach. And <laughs> that that'll be yeah. Yeah, that that's what I do. One attack. This is <laughs> He's the chosen one. I, because I haven't been able. things I, in his time. I don't have any reach, and I've been terrified this entire. This is the first time I've been able to step forward. That's true. Monty knows that once we win this, and he becomes yeah. Once once the Stitches God of is dead, then yeah. I feel confident again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead, Zach. Don't worry, Monty. I'll hit him. Um, 23 to hit. That hits. Perfect. Okay, that is nine damage. Okay. And I'm going to spend four position to yell. Oh, I am running out of position to spend. <laughs> that is a 28. That oh oh so this guy wise huh this guy this guy's a little wise <laughs> wise guy yeah, wise <laughs> we didn't um, have a wise guy here. Okay. you think he's such a wise guy he of my estes hey this guy's some kind of wise guy huh you steal a dragon kill and <laughs> now you're gonna come here <laughs> <laughs> he kind of just walks into my boss arena and steal my dragon kill and now you think you're some kind of wise guy huh no, now you think he's a real wise okay yeah I'm just gonna drink my estes flask and that's my whole turn. <laughs> Like looks at the dead spot where Stitches was, and then like the rest of you. <laughs> you better not kill one of the friends I like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love Monty so much. Go ahead, Fable. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, uh, you know. No. I think I'm gonna do another wind up. I think we're gonna do another wind up with this fella. All right. Um, so I'm gonna start casting that. Yeah, that's gonna be my whole turn. It's just starting the Grave Lord's dance. All right. So then his turn, he is. He's just gonna take the four attacks. He's gonna take a strike against Zach. 
Nope. Never mind. Fable. I can take it. <laughs> you shouldn't have made that face. I man. love Florence so much. 26. <laughs> yeah, it hits. For 38 Fable. points of slashing damage. 30 slashing. Thank you. 30. 38. 38? Yeah. Oh. You gotta stay alive or else you're not gonna be able to fight this guy. Second swing is a 16 to hit. Uh, that misses. Um. I'm going to spend five position to make it a 21. Go uh, ahead. Lorian can spend position as if he was a player character. Oh my god. He's mm. so hot. That's a 42 uh, slashing damage. Oh. You, you call him high, he just dealt you 42 damage. And you bloody yet? Can you reduce this? Then a strike yeah, against Zach. Oh, okay, that's weird. That is 24 to hit. Uh, Multi-attack defense. Doesn't that make it 24? That makes it 25. Wait, oh. what's 3 plus 18, 21 plus 4? Yeah, 25. I'm going to spend two position. <sighs> I should have told you. Okay. <laughs> Just for the principle. That is 32 points of slashing damage. Darn it. And uh, 1 to 2 is Fable, 3 to 4 is Zach. That's Monty's a 4. there too. Just I'll take it. Last. Ah! <laughs> Although, is Monty in melee range? Yeah, I moved up into melee range because I wanted to heal Zach. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Then, yes. Uh, that's a 24 to hit Monty. Yeah, that'll hit Monty. That is <laughs> 36 points of slashing damage. No, it's not. It's half of that. Oh, baby! Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh baby! Main character, baby. let's go. Yeah, bro. Ropes. You're coming it's to like life less than We're all just living in it. <laughs> you give me my robes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a callback. Yep. It's wonderful for the narrative. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. Well played, Monty. Well played. <laughs> Money said, hit me, hit me. Yes, probably. <laughs> um, so since I did take a really big chunk chunk of damage, um, would that uh it, and it was definitely the amount hold on, I'm trying to read and talk at the same time. <laughs> oh it definitely was an amount. That's true. <laughs> it was an there's, amount. there's rules for this. You know better than I do. <laughs> More than half of my total position. Mm -hmm. Which is what I took. So mm -hmm. with my karmic justice now erupt from my body. Yes. Yay. Um, okay, that's gonna be eight D eight force damage. Nice. Do not need to put roll. No, not uh, roll. roll well, roll well. Roll. Twenty seven. All right. So the force, force damage, damage erupts and makes Lorian stumble a bit as it slams into his physical form. And he needs to make a deck save. Ooh. But it's okay, because my shit's really low, so. That's a 15. Oh my god, he fails! <laughs> <laughs> what happens? <laughs> his ass is knocked prone! All right. <laughs> he is knocked prone and falls I knock him prone and then Fable goes, <laughs> go Y'all are the weirdest party of adventurers in this universe I've ever uh, met. Yeah. <laughs> that is Monty and Zach's turn. Uh, yeah, I think well, I'll. He's prone. I think I'll heal Zach. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Zach, you get healed for. Oh, these are not great rolls. Twenty-eight position. I'll take it. Hell yeah, I'll take it. All right. Is that your turn? Yeah, I'm debating whether I want to flask. I'm not gonna. <gasps> bold, Monty. Mm. Very bold. Uh, well, I am going to <laughs> do that. Uh, I figured I might as well chug him now before I die. So, <laughs> uh, and then I'm also just gonna fucking hit him. What is doing? What is him being prone do for me? You have advantage. Yeah. Yes. Love to see it. Have you action surged yet? Yes. I did. Um, I did to dash. Very sad about it. Um, 
18 plus 8 is 26 to hit. That hits. Wonderful. It's caught. Um, that is not good damage. That is 8 damage. All right. Um, and I'm going to yell at him. I'm going to yell at him. If you can make a wisdom saving throw. I know he's he's wise, but this is all I can do. He, he is not 19. prone. Don't forget. What? That has nothing to do with that. I'm just saying. If you, you're, I don't yeah, know you're if you're dumber when you get closer to the ground. This is a learn to play. Don't lie to people. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. What was that? A 19? Yes. Yeah, he saves. Okay. Okay. <laughs> is, is he considered a demon? Uh, he is an undead. Okay, well. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. What's up? What's happening? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing. You don't know he's an undead, you scrub. But you can still use undead things. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. When he was stabbing me, I smelled a bit of undead. Honestly. That's because um, you burned him. <laughs> you were, no, you didn't know you didn't burn yeah, him. I, I didn't land a hit. He immediately attacked me and killed me. <laughs> you did that. You made that narrative. I wasn't going to say yeah. nothing. Yeah. I, I brought you up guys, um, at 10th happened? level, you're a beacon of strength. Against the gathering darkness, all undead creatures that make any attack against you have made a disadvantage. That is so lucky. Cool. Oh. I will. Well, that one wouldn't have missed. That one would not have missed. But I will keep that in mind. Just, just for the future. It's good to know your abilities. Yes. <laughs> so then it brings it to your turn, Fable. I'm a. Take a drink. Yeah. Oh, this is all shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was absolute dookie of an Estes flask. <laughs> I have three ones. No, I have... Yeah, I have two ones and two twos. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Uh, yeah, big, 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 big bad. Okay, I am... I'm gonna stab it again, mm -hmm. and because I stabbed it last time, uh, oh wait, I didn't spend the position. Ignore me. I'm gonna stab it. And you have advantage on this because it's lying on the ground. It's lying hey. on the ground. You, oh beautiful it creature. Me. <laughs> well, goddamn shit, goddamn shit. That doesn't do bless. anything. Does bless help? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. No. Spend your position. Spend your position. <gasps> and add a d6. Literally, I have literally barely enough to spend after that Estes flask failure on my part. Um, I have to, I have to just take this L. Mm -hmm. I'm fully gonna have to take this L. Wait, no, my last turn, I was building up for the <laughs> Gravelord's dance. That is true. Oh yeah, that's right. So well, yeah, I want to yeah, cast it. it Duh, I'm a stupid lady. Oh, no, my poor little you're brain. learning to play. Learning to play! Learning to play! Learning to play! That is another challenge of games like this, because there is a bunch of abilities. Keeping track of everything that you can do can be a bit of a challenge. So if there's a better way for you to write your abilities in your character sheet, figure out what works best for you, and then work together with your DM to make sure you can keep in mind all of these things that are happening. It's a lot of information. Okay. For example, so... what works best for me is only choosing one ability that is something you have to do. <gasps> <laughs> the rest of it is passive. <laughs> 37. Okay. 37 pledging. Okay. So go ahead and make the uh, uh, the deck save first. So that's oh, lucky. Um, that is an 18. Fuck. Okay. Well, you save, so you're going to. I disadvantage. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, so you save. Uh, so half of 36 piercing damage, which is 18. 18. Yeah. So, and then on top of that, 37, 37 divided by two, if we want to just keep the 18. Yeah. Um, so 18 times two, 36 damage total. One is piercing, the other is bludgeoning. Beautiful. All right. Nice. Delightful. Okay. So this is when things are going to get a bit more challenging. Oh. Everyone but Zach make a dexterity saving throw. As Lorian makes another swipe with his hands. 
in front of all of you. I did bad. <laughs> I did bad as well. I got a 12. Same. <gasps> High five. We're going to die. You did 17. <laughs> so you two take 63 points of fire damage. Hey, besties. No. Almost got bad news. Fable, no. Fable's down. Would you, can, would you consider this magical damage? <laughs> I mean, you gotta ask. <laughs> it's magic fire, you know. It's magic fire! Yeah, where'd you get the fire from? Yeah. Magic, I guess. Magic! Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now that's what we call put armor. Um, <laughs> Y'all are nonsense. Never say I wasn't kind. Because <laughs> the rest won't be. So okay. he spends half his movement to stand uh, and then is going to go into swings at Zach. First swing. It's a 32. Yeah, I, I think that's going to hit. For 30 points of slashing damage. All right. It's 30. Second swing. 25 to hit. Ah, no, that's still good. Yeah, yeah, that hits. For 32 points of slashing damage. All right, all right, all right. I'm so sorry. Um, that's not a nat 20, is it? Hmm. Uh, a critical for... 68 points of slashing damage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Are okay. you still standing? I am. I'm now bloodied, so... Mm -hmm. A fourth strike. Mm -hmm. 33. Hit. Darn it. Yeah, that does hit. For... 34 points of slashy damage. All right. I could have used these prayer ropes, man. Could have really used these prayer ropes. They're right. useful. They're pretty useful. Yeah. So yeah. then it is uh, Zach and Monty's turn. Ah, uh, that is just less. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> you go while I count this up. Okay. Uh, well, while you're Estes flasking, I guess... Uh, I will heal. Oh God, what a garbage roll. Uh, I'll cast my heal again for 19 damage. Don't you feel on me so or on you on you? Oh, thank God. <laughs> and, then, and then I'll flask myself for 20. <laughs> right. And that's without the modifier. Like I added a plus eight to the, to yours and not to mine. <laughs> that's that was my, my last was. Estes flask. Uh, and then I'm going to hit him with my axe. All right. Roll that attack. Uh, 12 plus 8 is a dirty 20. That will not oh, hit. Do I, get the, do I get the d6? Yes, you still get that d6. Okay. Okay. That's uh, 24 to hit. All right. That hits. Okay, uh, seven plus four is 11 damage. You strike across. I'm not gonna yell. I'm not gonna yell. I'm calm, I'm not gonna yell. At the okay, end yeah. of your turns, Lorian raises his great sword once more, high above his head. And you all hear a voice. Lorian, Lorian, come quickly. We have business. And leave my sword. And he looks to where you. Stitches once was. And he puts his great sword down and starts walking away. Wow. I died for nothing. No. You all dealt enough damage to pass the encounter. Ooh. 
and I'm that will be brave. the culmination of the finale of the Dark Souls RPG. For you so came scary. across Lorien, the elder prince, older brother of Lothric, survived the encounter with the great worm, and then the protector who followed behind. You got a glimpse of the holder of the flame's sibling, and you have an idea of where they could be, but who knows what comes next. And just because it's fun, Stitches and Fable, make one more DC 18 wisdom saving throw. You got for it. Me. I actually already rolled, and oh. I had rolled a two for the DC <laughs> saving throw, but I rolled an at 20 for the Hollowing. Oh my gosh. You come back, a miracle of the grave, even stronger. Yeah. I rolled a 15. 15? Uh, for. Your saving throw? Or yes. that will fail. So roll a d20 oh, for me. Okay. You were so excited. It's an 18 wisdom. That's why I keep failing. That's a nine. Absent minded, your mind wanders, no longer able to focus on the things that you took joy in. And your intelligence would be lower than one, lower, lowered by one now. Oh, I was like, huh? lower than one. <laughs> lower than one. <laughs> Zero. Okay. Uh, Poor fable. Stitches wakes up and I'm going to put all of it into wisdom and it goes, I'm wiser knowing that I should not help any of you. Uh, every time I have, I've died. Uh, I'm not doing that again. And now all of you have technically found your ways into the castle of Lothric and the ruins below. You are one step closer to the flame. But for now, this is where our story ends. So... We're going to do our outros once more. And we're going to start with our incredible Fable. Oh, hi guys, it's me, Bravo. I was Fable. Um, uh, yeah, you can find me over at the Monty Hall. That's where I've been in chat. Uh, we have a lot of fun stuff planned. Uh, we are meeting to get the things back on track once the summer or late spring's over. We'll get back in the summer. Um, we have a new show. Me and EJ have a new show. We're very excited. Um, uh, Unbound is coming back with a brand new uh, group of characters for Candlekeep. Um, that is uh, every Friday over at Selena's channel. Um, be there. Uh, it, I'm just very, very excited to be doing that. So, so yeah, you can find me, uh, uh, Bravo with five R's all over the internet. Uh, that's me. Well, thanks. <laughs> and then we're gonna go over to Drac. Hi, um, I'm Drac. I've been. I probably shouldn't have called my character Everlasting Stitches because I think that probably like cursed it. Um, yeah, the ever I'm suffering, stitches, <laughs> the ever suffering Stitches. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me over on Twitter at Draconix. That's D R A K O N I Q U E S. Um, I've got a bunch of really cool things starting up um, on Fridays. You can find me over on uh, Q Times, an all villain campaign called Parliament of Owls. That's happening at 6 p.m. Pacific. We're Ooh. not doing this week, but we should be coming back next week. Um, on Wednesdays, you can find me over on Rule of Law um, at 6 p.m. Pacific in a cyber system campaign called Infinite Horizon. Um, I play a time traveling lizard alien. It's a ton of fun. Yes. That's so uh, very specific. Yeah, I came from the future to warn everyone about what's happening. Um, starting May 3rd, I'm going to be over on Table Story um, at uh, uh, 1 p.m. Pacific in a game uh, a game where I'm not allowed to take, talk too much about it, but it's called Kingmakers. Come watch. It's going to be fun. Um, I'm very excited for everyone to meet my character. Uh, considerably nicer than Stitches. I'll give that at the very least. Uh, way nicer than Stitches. Um, and yeah, I'm also the co-founder co and event organizer of Friends Roll Dice. So, and we do a bunch of uh, teaching RPGs there. Keep an eye out because we've got like three or four shows in the works. They're gonna be very cool. And that's me. Amazing. Bring it over to EJ. Hi everyone, I'm EJ. I'm that's one big egg in chat, and I'm several big eggs on Twitter. Um, on Friday nights, you can find me on Cell Luna's channel playing in the Unbound New Candle Keep campaign, uh, where, you know, a new fable might exist if you like her in this campaign. Um, so hopefully I'll see you there uh, if you like lesbians and swords. So thank you. And then Eric. 
Hey, uh, you can find me mostly Eric on most places. Uh, and uh, yeah, May 1st uh, here on Saving Throw Show, uh, the, the second half of the, the newest season of New Pantheon Academia, our anime inspired tabletop role playing game, is back uh, for so the good. last half of the season. So cool. It's really, it's very good. Uh, I am Gabe Hicks. You can find me a call across the internet at Gabe James Games. You can find me Tuesdays on that Bronze Girls channel playing in Shakar. Um, April 29th, you can find me on uh, Joe Fudge's channel playing in our Norse uh, mythology versus Greek mythology D&D campaign. Uh, I am playing a vampire paladin who wants to drink from the gods. Uh, oh yeah so baby. that is gonna be very interesting that is his only goal and again thank you to saving throw thank you uh to steam forge for be giving us the opportunity um also i think it's hard uh wanted to announce that for saving throw uh the next rpgs uh will be covering savage world deadlands which will be very exciting. I don't really know much about Savage Worlds, actually. Uh, so I'm very excited. Uh, but yes, please join us for the next RPG Exploration Society of Savage Worlds Deadlands. It, is Savage, Savage Worlds is the system that I think uses cards, correct? No, it uses, like, it's every stat you have has, like, a, a die. So, like, the better you are at something, the higher the die is in it. And then oh. you have, a, like, a wild die that you add to it. So it's like... Oh. Oh, oh so it, I does yeah. use cards oh. for combat. I thought yeah. so. I have, I have a good friend uh, that played through it, and it was very interesting. And also, uh, congratulations to Monstrosity Jones for winning the giveaway. That is a delightful name, and I genuinely I love it. it. I immediately <laughs> thought Osmosis Jones, but that's just yeah. Me. <laughs> Hell yes. So thank you for coming out to enjoy this uh, RPG Exploration Society. Please stay tuned for Saving Throw because there are a million things happening on this channel all the dang time. Um, I actually, I, I'm a big fan of the, the new Pantheon show, so I'm very excited about that coming back. Because uh, it, it, what, what is the game system that it uses? Uh, Overarms. Yes, I found Overarms uh, on a whim. I ordered a copy of the book. It is so very anime, and that is totally my jam. Uh, <laughs> I yeah. it. Yes. So please stay tuned. There is plenty more coming for Saving Throw. Please go check them out on Twitter. And we will see you next time. Uh, and I get to actually just enjoy uh, the next RPG, like Exploration Racing Society. I'm going to learn Savage Lands. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll take care and we'll see you next time.